Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Good Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. I found a problem with building um, the doors. Something has updated recently that is causing the doors to, like, whenever they're, they're bonded together and you click open on one door and they're still locked, you move this door. As it goes away to be moved, this door will open up. But then when you hit B to put it back, that first door locks back in place. It's still technically in the open position, but this is a big problem. Hold on, why is this? Oh my goodness, oh, ah, gosh, oh, geez. Okay, hold on, what if we do that? There we go, that's much better. Oh, and now you can like just see the microphone. It's just like screaming at you. It's kicking and waving. Hello, how are you? All right, get over here to the center. Good, good, we are set up, set up, we're good, okay. All right, let's do this. So I jumped into a couple of servers, and the first one that I jumped into, all the base plates were gone. Like, there were no base plates. So, plus none of the trees were growing. So I don't know if that was, like, exploited or something happened. It might have just been a failed script. Who knows? But I'm jumping into um, a private server now. Um, no offense to the people that I jumped in with, Sonic, I apologize that I jumped out right there whenever we were all up there on the top, but I'm, I've got to build. I've got to build, and this is the only way that I know how. So, um, the doors up to the very top, alright, I've got them up there, but they are, um, doing that weird glitch where they're, like, locked in. You move this one, this one opens, you hit B, and this one locks back in place. So, what I've done is the top two doors of my bridge, I've actually, uh, I've put into the open position, and I'm reloading my base right now. I happen to do, be doing this in a private server, so I'm going to let it load, I'm going to climb up to the top, and hopefully it will be fixed. Be right back. By the way, it is a really long way up to the top. Okay, so it did work. Uh, top door is open. This door did not work, though. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the closed door on it because technically we don't need it open right now. But I can start building up on this side, and away we go. I have a feeling I'm going to need a lot more ladders, and I'm definitely going to need to build further over. Um, let's see. Which way are we facing? Hit R, like that. And here we go. So, this should be fun. Basically, this is this is the last run of the... Um, Oh, that was horrible. Bad, 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 bad. Bad code. What are you doing? This is the last run until we uh, can create our palm wood uh, enterprise. It's going to be all palms every day, 24-7. What? <clears throat> the fastest money that man can buy. Maybe. Maybe not. Who knows? Come on, knock on my door. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I am getting stir crazy with having to stay inside and the quarantine and everything else and not going to work. Um, I've lost track of weekend days and weekdays, weekends and weekdays. It's very much blended together. And it's it's hard on the family. I didn't realize, like, being here and actually being confined with everyone was such a, a toll on each other. And I think it's, it's bugging the kids, too. But I think it's also because we're just not used to it. We've gotten used to dad goes to work, uh, kids go to school, Mom hangs out at the house and, and does household things. It just, it's very different. Oh wait, what am I doing? Um, I'm gonna keep building up. Hold on. So, hashtag uh, or comment if you can relate with the, uh, the struggles of quarantine. And it's not quarantine, it's stay at home order. So, I know I said that last time, like, <sighs> we shouldn't call it quarantine because it's technically not quarantine. But you can call it whatever you want. It's fine. 
right there's where we left off and I've still got a long ways to go I think I think we've got a lot more than just that little section left so I might pause it here in just a little bit and go grab some more ladders build ladders up and then try and get this done tonight but <clears throat> had uh, had somebody that I was speaking with the other day and they said um, people are, are just being crazy nuts and, and no courtesy and stuff like that I said what do you mean like I guess they had gone uh, to go get toilet paper from the um, the store and there was a man walking down the aisle carrying like seven or eight toilet paper um, bundles like the the 24 packs or whatnot and not 24 packs the the packs right and this lady started screaming at him and saying I can't believe this are you kidding me and then started recording them and he actually was looking at the lady weird and then walked up and was restocking the shelf I don't know if people are losing it, <laughs> but why why would you do that? If you see somebody walking with like twenty, uh, like seven or eight packs of toilet paper, why do you think it's your responsibility to yell at that person? You know, or make a scene about it, or or be rude. Just leave him alone. If he wants eight packs of toilet paper, go for it. You know. Um, I saw on one of the websites I was ordering a graphics card for my kids and it said one graphics card per household I've got two kids I've got two computers and they need two graphics cards so I couldn't order the graphics card because it was it was giving me grief about the graphics card I just don't understand how some policies don't apply or work in reality like, it's great, and it sounds good on paper, because it, it would reduce your stock, and, and it would uh, prevent people from creating bit, bit farms, uh, Bitcoin farms, stuff like that. But at the same time, what happens when you have three or four or five kids, and you don't have the, the resources you need? You don't have the graphics cards, you know? Just, I don't know. It makes sense to me. But I'm also not one to <clears throat> sit here and say, yeah, it needs to be that way. And you got to have that because I'm very much the kind of person that's like, well, do you really need that many graphics cards? Well, do both kids really need graphics cards at the same time? Oh, by the way, um, both of my kids have uh, TS-140 Think servers as their um, as their computers. Um, there is a 240 watt power supply on it, and I believe the graphics cards that we have require a 160 watt power supply. Now, if I'm doing my calculations correct, I should only need an adapter to power the graphics card itself, but I'm not sure. So, if there's anybody with some uh, technical know-how out there that's a nerd about computers like I am, um, the model is the TS. 40 or TS140 and the graphics card is the uh, EVGA PCI Express 3.0 NVIDIA NVIDIA RTX 260 it's the OK Ultra or the KO Ultra it was for like $309 each. I mean, that's a really cheap graphics card, but it's spec'd better than, than my graphics card. So kids should be getting some pretty nice graphics cards and I think they're compatible. Now, when we get them, we might have to get new power supplies or we might not, who knows? But I'll figure it out when they, whenever they get here. Do, 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 do. Um, the reason that the kids have the servers is because um, we were going to recycle them, just get rid of them. And they have Zion processors in them, which are really, really nice processors. 
I mean, it's the equivalent of like a, an i7 with vPro. Um, for anybody that knows what I'm talking about. If not, that's cool too. You don't have to. Um, just know that I'm a nerd and I like, I like specs. Um, my current setup, a lot of people ask what it is. It is a cyber power PC that I purchased from Walmart, which, eh, yeah, I know. I normally never, I would never recommend or, nor do it. I would say if you're going to build a gaming laptop or a gaming computer, build it out, spec it out yourself, get parts and stuff from Newegg. But this particular instance, it was the right price, it was what I needed, and it was there. I mean, it was, had all the stuff I was going to put in it anyway, so why not? And I feel pretty good about the purchase. A lot of the times I usually get um, what's called buyer's remorse, and I'm like, oh man, why did I buy that? But not this time. I'm actually, I'm really happy with my purchase. Oh, um, speaking of buyer's remorse, that actually happened with a few people on Projute. And I want you to know that your purchase through Projute is not in vain, okay? He's still working on it. Defaultio is still putting stuff into it. It's an early beta release. It's an early alpha release. And there's so much more to come. I promise there's going to be more. Now, I would really like to test to see how far along this is, but I know it's not going to reach yet. So I'm just going to lock in all of these doors and not the last door. That way I can continue to build. But I will be right back. Let me check this. I'll probably build some more ladders and we will continue our talk. All right, so Slick Mills joined me and we have added in about a hundred more doors, or not doors, a uh, hundred more. Oh, Slick, hi. <laughs> about a hundred more ladders. And so far it's going well. Um, yeah, we're gonna get these up there and then I'll keep you posted and updated. This, this is fun. We're so close. Okay, so I think we're far enough along that I can continue with the actual video. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we have built and built and built and built and like <clears throat> my voice is cracking because I haven't been talking enough. It's been late. I've ran out of coffee. Um, we've been going for about four hours, four hours now in between the last time that like, oh my gosh. <laughs> So a lot of you um, are saying, oh, Code, are you editing? No. <clears throat> I actually found that um, the new version of OBS has a pause button, and you can set it to a hotkey, which is what I've done. So I just pause my videos. Editing. Please. I don't have time to edit. Ever. I barely have time to, like, build this thing. Oh. And it's been, it's been crazy. It has been crazy how long this door bridge has taken. I'm glad that we are at the end. I'm so happy. What I've kind of been doing is just making temporary platforms out of the doors that we're using and jumping back down to them. Now, uh, needless to say, me and Slick have fallen multiple times. <laughs> so, and it's always fun because it is such a long climb back up to the top. Are we almost done? Are we almost done? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? We're, we're getting close. We're getting really close. Ooh, I almost missed it. Do you guys see that? be able to move this one we're actually just going to move it right up there and then this one oh, 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 oh no 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 don't fall don't fall don't fall there's so much anxiety from like <clears throat> oh my gosh am i going to fall is it like right there and then just like go oh, get on the ladder get on the ladder oh i think i i've got a couple of ladders upside down but that's fine <clears throat> They've all kind of been messed up a little bit. Whew. 
<laughs> so close. Mm. Do you guys ever have something like that in a video game that just it straight up gives you anxiety? That's that's falling off this ladder. <laughs> I'm like, no, don't do it. Oh, thank you, Slick. There we go. And I'm actually going to move this inward just a little bit. That way we're not obscuring the ladder. And I think that no. Here, we'll do we'll do two more. Um let's see. What is this? Uh turn like that? Oh, I need to do turn turn. Because the model of the door itself is actually different. Actually, no, no, we're gonna leave that there as a target. Well, I guess I guess we can aim at the top one. Now that we're that close. Okay, let's start attaching some doors. Because I'm ready to test this thing out. Let's see, we want to attach this one. No. No, we don't, actually. If I open this, it's going to knock me off, isn't it? Nope, okay. We can close that door, that's fine. Uh, we'll see. Move D. Is that door closed? Nope. Move B. I mean, open. Is that door open? No, it's not. Move B. Move B. And the reason I'm going through this one at a time is because I don't want to leave any of the doors in the open position because that's actually what breaks most door bridges. Like if you have one in the open position and they all res in and that one's attached already to something, it will turn the whole door bridge and then all the doors are off. <laughs> so you have to go find the door that was open, close it, and then rebuild or uh, reload the whole base. Which is not fun. Not fun at all. Happens sometimes. And uh, if you happen to be on somebody's base that you're whitelisted and they've got one of these door bridges, don't open the doors. Just leave them alone. There should be only one door that you're opening and that's at the very bottom unless you're trying to build and that should be at the very top. Uh oh. Closed door. Oh, okay. That one is closed. Move B. <gasps> no! <laughs> what did I just say? I just said that. Alright, alright. We're going again. Go again. Can I reach him? Yep. Closed door. And then move B. Closed door. Move B. Come on. Closed door. Move B. Closed door. Move B. Closed door. This is the uh, the boring part. I know uh, there's a there are a lot of slow parts when building inside lumber and stuff like that, but. This is the monotonous, the monotony. And I kinda, I didn't want to pause. I wanted to show you guys what it's like, but I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and record for four hours of just me doing this, you know? Come on, a little bit higher. Here we go. Nice maneuvers there, slick. All right, here we go. Oh no, it wasn't that one. Was it that one? Closed door. Closed door. Oh no, no! Oh no, I'm on the back side. I'm on the back side. Okay, and I don't know which door it was. That sucks. Okay, so now I just have to play 
guesstimation as to which door that was. <clears throat> Maybe I should just reload. Just reload and... Yeah, let's do that. <clears throat> Reloading. Here we go. Jump down to the bottom. Let's check, uh, check the very last door. Whoa, that is a long way down. Bruh. <laughs> Menu. Load. Current slot. <sighs> False. Oh no. Menu. Load. Current slot. Reload. There we go. Oh, I hope I don't lose my palm wood there. Okay, it, it didn't. It saved. I think it saved. Unless it just deleted it. Ooh, that's not good. Oh well. We'll be fine. Um, I'm still getting a bunch of messages um, like, Code, my base got wiped by an exploiter. Please help. I cannot help. There's nothing I can do. Oh, contact Defaultio. No. Um, I know that you guys know that I have contact with Defaultio and that I can message him directly. I'm not going to be used as a pivot to communicate with Defaultio. If you want to communicate with Defaultio or tell him about what's going on, do at Defaultio on Twitter. He sees it, okay? Um, don't bug him. Don't send billions of messages every five minutes. Send him one message. Hey, I this got deleted and this is what happened. I have screenshots and video or whatever the case may be, um, but that's it. Send him the one message, that's it. Make sure you fill out the, the base recovery form and don't build on that slot. Now, I'm not gonna say that it's going to be a, a surefire thing and it's not gonna be instantaneous. It could be months before he restores your base. So if your base does get wiped or if something does happen, I say carry on. Just, just report that it happened and carry on. That's all I can tell you to do. Just continue on. And I know, it sucks, okay? I could imagine this entire base gets wiped and then I have got nothing on the slot. It's just gone. But you know what I would do? I would start over from scratch and I would just continue on. And I would complain at default, yeah. But that's it. That's, you know, beyond that, that's it. Oh, we got a, got a piece stuck here. All right, hold on. Force, tiny. Rotate, turn, grab, turn. Why can I not grab that? What in the world? That does not want me to grab it. Weird. I can't grab that one. Uh -huh. Can I push it? Let's see. Yeah, I can push it. It's definitely mine. That one came out of the sawmill, I think. That's strange. Oh well. Let's test. Boink. <laughs> Here we go. I'm gonna drop this. Gonna drop this. Let's go jump in the car. And I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a night because that was a long time. Okay, so I mean I know we're at 24 minutes. I, I don't think I can go another six minutes. I've got to get this thing uploaded and give you guys some video for tomorrow, which is gonna be awesome because it's gonna be like the end, end all be all of Palm Bridges. Woo 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 woo! I'm excited. I'm like super excited. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And and there we go. Oh my gosh. Does it go all the way? Does it go all the way? If it goes all the way, I'm I'm so excited. Please, please, please. Please no. You got to be kidding me. No. <laughs> I know, right? 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so we can measure this though. Watch this. Watch, 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 watch. Okay, so we stand on this black one right here. And we can go right up to here. That's as far over as we can go. And then I can use the greater than less than symbols and go one, two, three, four, four. Right there. One, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just realized that the truck is in the way. I'm not going to be able to count them. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Let's do. Let's do this. <laughs> there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wow, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six is underneath the tire, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 34 34 so if we do 34 it'll get us right out to there so boom one two three four boom and that's in a straight line across so even 34 doors will still not be enough um, 34 more doors is just shy of what I need. I would say um, 40, 42 to 50. I think we can build a ramp to drive onto the island out of doors. I think so too. Should we try getting out there first, and then we can build down? Hmm. So basically the idea is um, we are going to keep building, build, 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 build up to this little corner. And then what I want to do is build stairs that walk down to this little spot, but build this part out, down and around. So it's like a big parking lot out here. That way you can have multiple people come onto the bridge and park their, their trucks, grab some wood, jump back in, take it away. So. That's the idea, but for now, I think I'm gonna call it a night. Definitely gonna call it a night. I'm going to call it end of video. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, joined by the amazing Slick Mills, who has helped out multiple YouTubers inside Roblox Lumber Tycoon 2. He's one of the one of the secret helping hands behind a lot of the builds that we do love you guys very much don't forget to like comment subscribe down below do all those cool things i'm supposed to call out like a good youtuber but it's your choice if you want to go for it if not that's cool too love you guys very much have a great night and we'll talk to you very soon outro <laughs>